NXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2020, question 15. A geometric series has common ratio R and first term A. Given that R is not equal to 1 and A is not equal to 0, we need to prove that Sn equals A times 1 minus R to the N all over 1 minus R. So to do this, we're first going to think about what Sn looks like. That's the sum of all the terms. So it's a plus ar plus ar squared all the way up to ar to the n minus 1. And be really careful here, although we're summing n terms, remember that power is always 1 behind the place. So we end with r to the n minus 1, not r to the n. We're now going to multiply this whole thing through by r. So we get r sn is equal to ar plus ar squared, so on and so on all the way up to a r to the n. Now, if we do the top row, s n, minus the bottom row, r s n, we can see that we're going to get some terms cancelling out. Those a r's are going to cancel, the a r squares are going to cancel, they're going to keep on cancelling up to and including the a r to the power of n minus 1. So all we're going to be left with is the a from the top row, take away the a r to the n from the bottom row. Factorising these, left hand side we can take the Sn out, and on the right hand side we can take the A out, so we get Sn times 1 minus R is equal to A times 1 minus R to the N. Dividing through by 1 minus R, we get Sn equals A, 1 minus R to the N, all over 1 minus R as required. A part B, given also that S10 is 4 times S5, we need to find the exact value of r. So s5 is equal to a 1 minus r to the 5 all over 1 minus r and s10 is the same thing but with r to the 10 in our brackets. But we're told that this s10 is 4 times s5 so that's going to equal 4 times a times 1 minus r to the 5 over 1 minus r. And looking at those two parts of the equation on the right they're both over 1 minus r they're both multiplied by a, so as they're equal, we can cancel those out. So we end up with 1 minus r to the 10 from the left, which is equal to 4 lots of 1 minus r to the 5 from the right-hand side. Expanding the right-hand side gives us 4 minus 4 times r to the 5. Moving everything onto the same side, we get that r to the 10 minus 4r to the 5 plus 3 equals 0. Now, as r10 is just r5 squared, essentially got a quadratic here. So let's factorise this out. By inspection we can see that this is the same as r to the 5 minus 1 times r to the 5 minus 3. This is still equal to 0, so we can solve for r to the 5. r to the 5 must equal 1 or 3. Solving these we get that r is either 1 or the fifth root of 3. However, we're told at the beginning that r cannot equal 1, so let's cross that out. So our exact value of r is the fifth root of 3. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.